Hello and welcome. Now I am going to talk about the importance of communication to individual. In the previous video, I had discussed about the general importance of communication. Please check it out. So now I am going to say why communication is important for an individual. Now the first point is expression of oneself. With the help of communication, a person can convey his or her opinions, thoughts, feelings, etc. So with the help of communication, a person can express his needs, his wants. Without communication, a person won't be able to express anything. A person won't be able to share his feelings, his thoughts, his opinions. No individual or organization can exist and function without communication. The second point is satisfaction of human needs. So communication helps men to satisfy his emotional needs of security, belongingness, recognition, etc. It is through communication that man expresses himself and feels relieved of emotional stress. If there had been no communication, man would have become passive, inactive, static and somewhat neurotic. Communication is next to oxygen and water for the existence of the whole society. The next point is building human relations. Communication can definitely build human relationships. Communication can generate trust and lo loyalty in any relationship. So definitely it helps to create better relationships. So the next point is career advancement. Communication also helps in building a career. Once knowledge of subject and intelligence cannot guarantee success in any endeavor without the ability to deal with people and the ability to communicate effectively. Next, I am going to talk about the importance of communication to business. So the first point is efficient working of the business. We all know that communication is essential for successful and smooth running of a business. It is through communication that a healthy environment is created, organizational goals and policies are conveyed to the employees and various resources necessary for their accomplishment are coordinated. Without communication, a company won't be able to survive. The next point is total quality management. Uh, total quality management is a management approach focusing on the improvement of quality and performance in all functions, departments and processes across the company to provide quality service which exceed customer expectations. Uh, in a total quality organization with cross-functional teams, until consensus is reached between the executives and employees about achieving quality, there will be a great deal of wasted efforts or no effort. As total quality strategy involves continuous change, organizational members must be informed about the change, lest chaos results. Your communication is important to pass information and to avoid chaos. Number three, job satisfaction and enrichment. Effective communication overcomes misunderstanding among people at work. It contributes to greater cooperation among them, enhances their morale and job satisfaction and provides enrichment to their quality of life. Bad communication can create misunderstandings and, and uh, low productivity. Next is maintaining relations with external parties. Effective communication can definitely help in maintaining good professional relationships with external parties and external parties are a very important part of the business house so that is why it is important to maintain good relationship with them and how to maintain that good relation of course it is through communication a good relationship can be maintained and that's all about importance of communication i hope you have understood thank you so much